Hey gamers, Asian Sleepy here, and welcome to another pickups video. I got a bunch of stuff to share with you guys today, so we'll get started with stuff I found at Goodwill. First thing I got were these monster uh, component cables for PlayStation 3. Got them for 50 cents, didn't think that was too bad of a deal. Also found some magazines while I was there. I got an issue of Shonen Jump from April 2005. These are always uh, cool to read, so I'm glad to add to my collection. That was 35 cents. I found an online gamer magazine that talks about all kinds of different MMOs like World of Warcraft. That would be kind of neat to read. Got that for 35 cents. I also found the 100% unofficial Pokemon Trainers Guide. Talks about Pokemon Gold and Silver cards and Pokemon toys. So I thought that was neat. That was 35 cents. And the last thing I got there was a strategy guide for Pikmin. Pretty cool. I got that for 35 cents. Also found a few games while I was there. Got a copy of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for Sega Genesis. Glad to uh, add this to the collection. Haven't picked up a whole lot of Genesis games lately, so it's always nice when you can find them. It is complete. And I got that for two bucks. Also found a PlayStation 3 game, the Lord of the Rings Conquest. This is a pretty fun game. I recommend it, either on uh, PS3 or 360. And I'm glad to add another game to my PS3 collection because it's pretty small. It is complete. And I got that for two bucks. I also found a GameCube game there, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. These are always uh, fun games. It is complete. And I got that for two bucks. I also found this uh, PlayStation Portable Media Manager. Thought it was kind of neat to add to the collection. I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. But I got that for two bucks. And last thing I got there was an anime DVD set, and it was uh, Berserk. Looked pretty cool. It's a complete series, has all six discs, and they're in great condition. Looks things like brand new. And I definitely look forward to checking out. If any of you have watched it, let me know how it is. But it looks pretty cool. And I got that for three bucks, so not bad. Now move on to stuff from the village. First thing I got there was a little console here that's called the uh, Sega Pico. Pretty neat little uh, console for kids. I already have two of these, uh, but I couldn't leave this one behind because it was only a dollar fifty, so not bad. Didn't have any of the cords, but that's all right. I got plenty of those. I hooked it up, and this thing works fine, so not bad for a dollar fifty. Also found a couple games there. They've been kind of dry, so not a whole lot. <coughs> I got a uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for Nintendo GameCube. It is complete, and I got that for fifty cents. I found a copy of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009. I love Tiger Woods games, so glad to add to the collection. It's complete. Got that for two bucks. Found some Xbox 360 games, which is pretty rare at thrift stores in my area. But I got a copy of Stuntman Ignition. Pretty fun game. I recommend it. It is complete. I got that for $2.50. And the last game I got there was Guitar Hero 5, which I know my girlfriend will love. She loves the Guitar Hero games, and it's got all kinds of songs on it, so that'll be cool for her. And it is complete. And that was $2.50, so not bad. Now the last stuff is here. We'll move on to stuff from the game stores. Got a bunch of Xbox, PS2, and some 64 stuff. We'll start off with one GameCube game I found, though, was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but those little Oompa Loompas on there are pretty creepy looking. It is complete. I got that for 2 bucks. Found a copy of Rainbow Six Critical Hour. I love Rainbow Six games, and I haven't played this one, so I look forward to checking it out. It is complete. I got that for a dollar. Found a copy of Alter Echo. This looks pretty neat. Definitely look forward to checking it out. I'm not sure if I have it or not, but if I do, uh, then this copy will be up for a trade. It is complete. I got that for two bucks. I picked up a copy of uh, Championship Bowling. This looks pretty neat. I love bowling games, so I look forward to checking this one out. It is complete. I got that for two bucks. Got a copy here of Combat Task Force 121. Never heard it before, but it's an only on Xbox title. Looks pretty fun. Missing the manual, but that's all right. I got that for two bucks. Found a copy of Disney's Chicken Little. It was a pretty cool movie, so I'm sure my uh, girl son will enjoy playing this with me. Looks fun. It is complete. And I got that for uh, two bucks. And also had the movie ticket in there, which is always nice. Got a copy here now of uh, Conflict Global Terror. Another little military game that looks pretty cool. If you've played it, let me know. It looks fun. It is complete. And I got that for two bucks. Got a copy of Rainbow Six Three Companion Demo Disc. Has uh, it's demos for some games on there and some DLC for Ghost Recon Island Thunder and Splinter Cell, the first one, which is pretty cool since you can't download that stuff off Xbox Live anymore. Only way to get it is off this disc, which is neat. And I got that for two bucks, so glad to add that to the collection. Another game here called Men of Valor, another uh, war game. Looks pretty cool. It's complete. And that one was two bucks. 
Got a copy of uh, L.A. Rush. Pretty cool. I used to love this racing game, so I'm glad to add it back into the collection. Pretty fun. I recommend it. If you like low riders and stuff like that and customizing cars. It's complete with a manual. I uh, like that. It was two bucks. I also got a copy here of uh, Gun Griffin Allied Strike. Another only on Xbox title. I never heard of it before. Looks pretty cool. I love mech games, so this looks neat. It is complete. I got that for $2.50. Found a copy of Tomb Raider Legend. Tomb Raider games are always fun, and this is a really good game. Great condition, complete. Got that for three bucks. The last Xbox game I found was Otagi Myth of Demons, which is awesome because I just recently picked up the second one, and now I finally found the first game, and this one was only five bucks, so not bad. It is complete. Great condition, and that one was five dollars, so not bad deal at all. Got some PS2 titles here. We got a uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. Pretty cool, this completed my Tokyo Extreme Racer series. It doesn't have the manual, but that's all right. Got that for a buck. I found the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. I only need one more Lord of the Rings game for PS2 and I'll have them all. This is pretty cool. Complete, I got that for a buck. Found a copy of Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. Pretty cool, missing the manual, but that's all right. Got that for a buck. Got a copy of Zapper, One Wicked Cricket. This looks pretty neat, never played it before, but looks like a platformer. Definitely uh, look forward to seeing how it is. It's in great condition, complete. That was two bucks. Got a copy of uh, Tetris World. I love Tetris, and this game looks pretty cool. It is complete. That was two bucks. Found a copy of uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Great condition. Missing a manual, but I already have one from a dumpster dive, so I'll complete it. Got that for two bucks. Got a copy of uh, SeaWorld Adventure Park, Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures. I didn't know that SeaWorld had games, but they do. Looks kind of neat, so I'll definitely have to check it out and see how it is. It is complete. Got that for $2. Found a copy of Rune Viking Warlord. Now, this looks really fun. I saw some videos online, and uh, I enjoyed it, so I'm definitely going to uh, pop this in and see how it is. Looks fun. If you've played it, let me know how it is. It is complete. I got that for 2 bucks. Found a copy here of Bombastic. This looks like a pretty neat little uh, puzzle game. So that's cool. It's complete. Two bucks. Got a copy of uh, Ratchet uh, Deadlock. Finally upgraded my greatest hits copy. That one was missing a manual. This one is complete. Black label. I got that for two fifty. Also got a copy of uh, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. My other one was missing a manual. This one is complete. So that's awesome. My other one is up for trade. If anyone's interested, let me know. Not bad. Got that for two fifty. I also got Armored Core 3. Pretty cool. I love the Armored Core games. I have the second one, and now I've got the third one on PS2. Look forward to playing it. It is complete. That was three bucks. And the last PS2 game I got was a game called Shepherd's Crossing. It plays kind of like Harvest Moon. I played a little bit. It's pretty fun. I recommend it. And I got it for five bucks, so not bad. Complete. That was cool. And now I got uh, one Game Boy Color game. I found uh, the Powerpuff Girls Bad Mojo Jojo. Got that for a buck. And now my favorite pickups here are 64 games. I finally found a copy of NBA Jam 99. Got that for a dollar. Got a copy of FIFA 99. That was a dollar. Two fifty. I got a copy of Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. That was two fifty. Got uh, Destruction Derby 64 for five bucks. Got a copy of the Power uh, Powerpuff Girls. Little beat up label, but I don't uh, bother me too much. Got that for five bucks. Also got a copy of Hercules: The Legendary Journeys. That was five dollars. And the last 64 game I got was Magical Tetris Challenge in great condition for six dollars. Definitely not bad. Thanks to all those 64 pickups, I only need 36 more games to complete my uh, 64 collection, which is awesome. All right, guys. I want to. Uh, Thank you for watching. I do apologize that it's been a while since I put out a video. I've just been really busy with some personal stuff and uh, work and stuff like that. But now that i am uh, finished all that stuff up, I should be able to put out some more videos uh, regularly. So again, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. And sleepy. I'll see you guys next time.